What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Miles Jury and today I got an awesome video for you. I'm going to explain how I'm able to retire at 31 years old. Let's get to it. When I say retire, I I don't mean flying a fancy private jet every day. I don't mean sitting on a beach with 12 mansions with my feet up in the air. When I say retire, what I mean is that I don't need a job anymore. I am financially free to the point where I don't need a nine to five. Coming up as an MMA fighter and being in the fight game, you only get paid when I step into the cage. And it got to a point where I was, I was just getting sick of it. I was really getting tired of you know, if I get hurt or if I get an injury, if, if for whatever reason my, my employer, whatever organization I'm fighting with, if they don't want to keep my contract anymore, they can fire me. Um, not having any control over my financial future, I, got, I was getting super tired of it. Hopefully this video will actually help anybody out there that is in that same position. Maybe you're thinking you're, you're tired of going to, to a 9 to 5. You, you want more out of your life. You don't want to be dependent on a job, and that that was my mindset. I I didn't want to need a I didn't want to ever need a boss. I didn't want to be in a position where anybody could hold anything over my head and say, you know what, Miles, you're fired. And now I'm I'm stuck in a position where I can't pay my my monthly bills. So, in 2012, I began studying and learning about investing and different ways to make money, keep my money and make my money work hard for me. I started learning about real estate and I learned two important words, asset and liability. An asset, at the end of the day, simply put, puts money in your pocket. A liability takes money out of your pocket. So let me give you an example. A car, a car is a liability. It, you gotta pay for maintenance on it, you have to pay for gas, you have to pay for insurance. So it takes money out of your pocket every month. An asset, for example, is a rental property. By providing a, a safe, affordable house for somebody to live in, they pay a monthly fee. After you pay for all your expenses for that rental property, like taxes and insurance, maybe some maintenance, you're left with money left over. That's cash flow. So you have your asset and you have a liability. Understanding the difference between those two really helped me out. In 2012, I started making money. And what I did basically in a nutshell is I just saved all the money I made. I didn't buy any liabilities, I, did, I didn't blow it, but I saved all the money I could and I chose real estate. Now what I did is I, I picked single family homes and some duplexes and I chose that's gonna be my investing strategy. In 2012, I bought my first property, a little three bedroom, one bath. Now, that was the first step into working towards retirement, right? So what I mean by that is I bought that first property and it started cash flowing. I put a tenant in it and it started cash flowing every month. And I said, hmm, I, I'm making money off, off of this property what if I did it again? So I, a light bulb started going on. And at this point, I really started looking at not only buying these assets, these single family homes, but I started looking at what my expenses were every month for my personal life. How much, my, how much money do I have going out? So how much money was I spending on food? How much money was I spending on my rent? How much money was I spending on clothes and entertainment and traveling? And uh, how much money was I spending on going out with friends and, and all this stuff? And I basically came to a number of how much money I was spending. And this was my target. So at that time in, in 2012, I believe my, my expenses were right around 2,500 bucks a month. This $2,500 a month was basically my surviving ex expenses. This paid for you know electricity, rent, those things that I need to survive. So that was my, my target. I, I wanted to buy enough real estate, enough assets that provided $2,500 a month in cash flow. 
Now, over the years, I've chose to upgrade my life. My expenses went up, but also too, my assets have went up. Since 2012, I've kept this same strategy, this same strategy of making money, saving all my money, not giving it away in, and liabilities and, and just blowing it, saving it, finding an asset that provides monthly cash flow, like a single family home, a rental property, uh, a duplex, acquiring that rental property, holding on to it, not selling it. Remember, I want to I wanna hold on to this and continually doing that over the past seven and a half years. And now I'm to a position where I can, I can comfortably say that I don't need a job. How cool is that, right? Like, I don't need a job. I can wake up and if I got hurt today and I could never fight again, I would be okay. I can basically live off of my assets. Now, I love my job. I love what I do. I don't choose to retire yet, but the power comes from having the choice to retire. I mean, how awesome would that be? How awesome would it be to... For, for anybody out there that's thinking about that, to be able to wake up and choose what you want to do today. You don't have to run off to a job. You can choose to spend time with your family. You can choose to, to donate your time at a charity. I, I don't know. I don't know what, what it is that you want to do, but you have the choice. You have the power and the control to do it. That's my strategy and that's my game plan to how I'm able to retire at 31 years old. Please don't forget to smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe. I'm going to continue kicking out great content for you. Let me know if you guys have any questions or any topics you want me to discuss. Until next time.